Hey, it's Don the Auction Professor here. Um, I just got back from a call. Um, I saw an ad. It was on Craigslist. I got it right away. Um, I got some postcards today. I got all of these postcards here. I'd say there's 2,500 postcards or more. This was from someone's inheritance. Their grandfather collected them, apparently. I bought everything else that she pulled out that she found um, in the attic of this guy's house. So this is what I got. I got 125 bucks in everything you see here. Um, I've separated them out. These are pretty much just standard. There might I might actually go through them again um, and pull out some more because some of the, the newer ones still sell, depending on where it's from. A lot of California cards sell, regardless of age, all the way up into the 50s and 60s. Some of those cards still go for 500 bucks or more. It just depends on where it's from. And then I've separated these out. Um, I figure I've probably got about six, seven hundred out of these here that are the good cards out of this 125. And then from there, I separated it down again into a smaller stack. The the literally the best cards I could find out of the lot. Um, and some of these are ones I'd have to look up or I've had that I know they'll be good money. Um, like here's one from a local era, Wamba Festival. These are like 15 bucks all day long. There's two of these in here too. Uh, there's trolley car stations, um, all kinds of stuff like that. And then I got one more stack that I know are really good cards. Um, these are all earlier. The majority of these cards are like 1955, I think was the newest date I saw, all the way down to about 1898. Um, there's a lot of train depots in here. I don't know how well you can see these, but they're town views. Um, nice early images, um, hand-tinted cards like this one here, monuments, um, just early cards. There's just a lot of them in here. Real picture postcards, um, downtown views, um, there's railroad night, uh, just town views, bird's eye views, inside hotel views, multi-view cards, early town that have been actually blue tinted. Um, all together, I've pulled out and looked through, you know, all these cards. I'm probably looking at maybe a thousand bucks or better off this 125 investment. That's about typical, I would guess. There's probably going to be a few cards in this little stack I got here that I'll probably get a hundred or better for. Uh, one card alone, I'm sure, will pay for this entire lot. If you're not paying attention to postcards, you're totally blowing it and missing out on them. Postcards I see all the time, every estate sale, every single flea market, every single antique mall. Um, and again, I could make a profit just going to antique malls and buying postcards from antique dealers myself. Um, a lot of people don't mess with them. I don't know why. Um, it does take time to look them up and to figure out which one's which. Again, there's a lot here. I had to look through 2,500, 2,600 cards to pull out the better ones. And again, these are. it's going to take some time to list these, of course. I'll list this little stack here. I'll probably make five, 600 bucks minimum right off the bat off of these here. I mean, there's Fred Harvey. There's... 1890-ish cards in here, um, and just nice early small town street scenes that just should go very, very well. Like, there might be more like 1500 here. I haven't looked at it more than a just quick glance. Um, I spent an hour looking through these once I bought them. I bought them on the spot. We went back and forth and haggled on the price a few times. But 125 is what I got them off. Paid cash, walked out the door, happy as can be. So if you're not paying attention again, postcards sell all the time. I listed some yesterday, and literally while I was doing the video talking about listing um, and showing a postcard that I listed, it had sold just literally before I could even edit the video. And last night from the time I left and posted that video, I've sold 27 more from the group that I listed. So out of 150 postcards, I've got almost 30 some odd done, sold, gone, out the door, um, already boxed up and ready to roll for today's shipment. So um, it's just, it's a big quick money maker. It's a big turner. It would be a bolo in anybody's book or it should be. Why waste your time messing with clothing and selling a $10 shirt when you can sell a $10 little piece of paper that takes nothing to do anything with? They're readily available. They made tons of them. It's just a matter of taking the time and putting them up. Um, again, this is what I see all the time. I don't usually buy this many. Um, usually I'm lucky enough to get a few hundred real good ones or a little stack of good ones like this. Um, but again, this there might be a ton more still in here. I might end up pulling back out because I look through them a couple times. You always miss something the first time looking through something. Sometimes even two or three times I might look through them. And then some of this junker lot, I'll probably uh, pull out ones from the same area and sell them in bunches of like 20 or 30 for maybe 15 or 20 bucks, and then I'll blow out the rest in a big lot on eBay as well too, or sell them locally. 
Um, but there's still some good money to be made even in these. These are ones that are probably like $3 to 5 that I just don't mess with usually. Um, I do have some that are up at that price, but I put them up long before and, and was expecting to get more. Um, I usually blow them out uh, after a little while, certain ones. Um, but again, postcards. If you're not buying them, please pay attention to them. You're missing out. Again, Don the Auction Professor, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please subscribe, like, tell a friend. Have a good day.